Did you ever want to convert your Lightroom presets into Instagram filters? Well, guess what? It's pretty easy. I'm going to teach you how to do that. So before we start creating the filter, we need a few assets to begin with. And first of all, you need a neutral LUT. It's a PNG file and it looks like this. It's a really colorful image. And you can download it in the link below. And you wanna open that up in Photoshop. So what you wanna do is you wanna apply your Lightroom filters to that image here. And how you're gonna do that is you go to filters and go to camera raw filters. So once this opens up, you want to go to presets up here. And I have all my presets in here. If you don't, you have to load them in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply one Lightroom presets to that image. So I'm going to go with a Tofino preset. And I hit OK. And this applies all the adjustments I made in my Lightroom presets to that neutral lot we have here in Photoshop. Oh yeah, and I always would recommend to test this on an actual image because I had it before where I made the whole filter and I tested it on Instagram and in the shadows there were some red pixels which looked really weird. So you always want to make sure to test it on an actual image before you apply it to that um, neutral lot. So once we have that here, you want to export it to a PNG file. And I'm gonna name it Instagram Filter Tofino Preset and just save it on the desktop. And once we have saved it, the next step is gonna be we actually have to download the Spark AR program. And what you wanna do is you wanna go to sparkar.facebook.com slash arstudio slash download. I'm gonna link the website below where you can download the Spark AR Studio. And you're just gonna hit download and you're gonna download the program and install it. Okay, so once you open up Spark AR Studio, you wanna hit blank project, because we just wanna create a color filter. And what you get from there is something that looks like this. You can change your device here. Um, you can do iPad, iPad Pro, iPhone X. Just leave it at iPhone X for now. And this is your preview screen. So here you can say the changes you make, uh, they appear up here. So first of all, what we wanna do is we wanna add an object and we wanna add a canvas. And we click insert and we have a canvas up here now. And we also wanna add another object and we wanna add a rectangle to that. And make sure it looks like this, canvas and the rectangle is right under it. So we got this little square here, the black and white square, and we wanna make sure it covers the whole screen because that's kind of the overlay where the filter is going on. So we wanna hit size and we wanna hit fill width. And we wanna do the same here and fill the height on the right hand side here. Now you will see it covers the whole screen. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to create a material for that rectangle. So we're going to click on the right hand side. We click on the plus here on the material and it's going to add a new material on the assets up here on the left hand side. So for this material, we want to click on it and we want to add a texture. So we want to click on this little left of this little arrow here and when, what that does is it opens up the patch editor and we have the material in here with the texture so we want to drag that up to the right hand side here so the next thing we want to do is we want to bring in the lot we created earlier so we're just gonna find it on your desktop and we just drag it into the assets folder here and now you see it appears under the textures what we also need is we need a camera so we're going to hit up the camera up here and we want to go on the right hand side, we want a texture extraction. So we hit the plus sign. And now we have two textures here in the asset folder, the camera texture and the actual filter we created. Now we want to drag those into the patch editor. 
both of them just drag them in here so now we want to download the patch we need and it's linked on the website below just click on that website link and you want to you want you're going to come to this website and you're going to go under patches and you want to download that fast curl a lot patch once you've downloaded the patch you'll find it on your computer and you just drag it in to the assets once it's dragged into the program, you grab the patch and drag it into the patch editor. And now it appears here. And now all we have to do is connect the LUT with the LUT here and the texture with the texture button here. And then we gotta connect the patch with the actual material. And there we go, the LUT is applied to the screen here. You can see it looks really different to it than what it did before. So, but whatever your LUT is, the settings are gonna be applied to the little preview here and you can see how it looks like. The last thing we have to do before we export is we go onto the textures here. So you wanna click on the Instagram filter and we scroll down and we wanna hit no compression here. This is really important that you do that. Otherwise, it will look weird. And there we go, that's it. We're just gonna, it's actually time to export the project. And we're gonna get to file. You wanna hit export. And once it's all done, you're gonna hit export here. And you wanna just name where you wanna, and then you just save it, just name it, and then save it on your computer. And now it asks you if you wanna open up the Spark AR hub. Once you open up that, you actually have to submit, you have to upload it, and it takes a few days, up to a week, for them to review the filter. You have to describe it and everything. And once that's done, you're gonna see the filter in your Instagram, and you can enjoy it and share it and do whatever you want with it. So yeah, that was it. It was pretty easy, right? Only took like five minutes or so. If you want to see more videos like that, consider subscribing. If you like the video, hit the like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.